What's up everybody? My name is DJ Carlo Atendido and today I'm going to show you how to use slip mode on any controller that uses Rekordbox DJ or Serato. Now make sure to watch till the end of this video because I'm also doing a quick giveaway. Slip mode is a feature that allows you to scratch, loop, or trigger cues during playback while preserving the original playback of the track. And using slip mode is one of the funnest and easiest things to do when DJing, and I personally use it to show off. Because it doesn't really require a lot of skills to do it effectively. All you really need is a good sense of timing and rhythm. Let's first set up our vinyl break system. To set it up on Rekordbox DJ, all you gotta do is go to your settings, then click controller, then scroll down to vinyl speed adjust. And on the touch slash break area, bring both knobs to the 12 o'clock position. To set it up on Serato, click the tool icon. In the DJ preferences menu, locate breaking. Then at the stop time, bring the knob to the 9 o'clock position. So whenever you stop the track, it will now make this sound. To activate slip mode, all you have to do is select the deck you want to activate slip mode on and click this icon. So now that we set up our vinyl break system and know how to activate slip mode on Rekordbox DJ and Serato, let's finally learn three effective techniques that utilize all of its features and functions in a mix. Now the three techniques that I like to do, I always make sure to do them on the downbeat of the song and I always release them also on the downbeat of the song. This ensures a nice and clean mix. When the track is playing, press the play slash pause button. Since we set it up, it'll make this cool vinyl breakdown sound effect. When the track is playing, simply backspin the track. When the track is playing, grab the platter and do a quick baby scratch. A baby scratch is when you push and pull a track. To learn how to do a baby scratch for real and other scratches, please check the description down below for a scratch tutorial playlist link. This trick requires you to have cue points in your track, and placing them in cool sounding areas is best to make this trick sound really dope. So I have a cue point here, and it sounds like this. To do this trick, simply press the cue point while the track is playing. To make your use of slip mode really shine, always make sure to pay attention to your timing and rhythm and to always mix things up. But the most important thing though about using slip mode is, is that you shouldn't overdo it. Sometimes you should just let the track just breathe and that's just okay. Using slip mode is really fun and exciting and easy, but that doesn't mean that you should do it over and over again. Remember to pay attention to the audience because you are the DJ and you are just supposed to play music. Slip mode is just there to add variety to that. By the way, all the DJ gear and camera gear that I've used in this video and in all my videos, all of those items are all listed in the description down below. If you guys want to support this channel and my dream of teaching you guys DJing for free forever, then please consider purchasing from those links because it'll really help me out. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this technique, if you plan to practice it at all, and if you guys plan to even implement it in an upcoming DJ set. 
I certainly love doing this technique all the time and I'm sure you guys will really enjoy it too once you've mastered it and really get it down. And speaking of love, who doesn't love free stuff? It's time for the giveaway. And this week, we're giving out a Rekordbox DJ t-shirt. This is really nice. A Rekordbox DJ hat. This is also very nice. And a Rekordbox DJ booklet, equally as nice. So if you guys want to win those three awesome prizes, all you guys got to do for me are three simple things. Like this video, comment your thoughts on this video. And if you guys have any questions about this video, also let me know. And if you guys have any suggestions for the next video, also let me know. And finally, be a subscriber of this YouTube channel. The random winner who does all of those three things will be announced in next week's episode of Hashtag Ask DJ Carlo. So stay tuned for that. And with that said, thank you so much for watching guys. And I will see you all in the next one.